If you're confused about what data journalism is, how to do it, and what it's for, then you're not alone. Currently, a few people are brilliant at it. A number have dabbled in it. Loads of journalists think they probably ought to find out about it, but many fear they probably won't be able to master it. And all this throws up a smokescreen about the subject that I hope to dispel in this masterclass. So first of all, what is it? Data journalism involves taking large sets of figures and creating visualizations out of them. Visualizations can be maps, graphs, or tables. They're to enable us to spot stories that were hidden in the data. So what's it for, or why do we need it? Well, because governments and other organizations are making huge amounts of data available to us and the general public. That data is pretty meaningless unless you know how to analyze it. And data journalism enables us to analyze, sift, and create visualizations that make sense of it. Not all journalists can see the point of data journalism, and I can understand why. And what I've discovered as I've explored the subject is that many of the visualizations data journalists create don't actually show very much at all. They don't immediately seem to add to a story, let alone become a story in themselves. So what I think journalists need, and what I hope provide here, is a practical guide to doing data journalism. And we're going to use some of the best journalism tools around, including Factual, Many Eyes, Socrata, Tableizer, Scraper Wiki, and Tableau. This masterclass is intended to be very much a beginner's guide, and as such it fits into the first of the three levels of tuition that the MMJ project is built on. The one called Getting Started in the book version and its online equivalent. So what skills will you need? So far throughout the MMJ project we've looked for ways in which those with no programming skills can master all aspects of modern mobile multimedia journalism. We're going to keep pretty close to that strategy here. You don't need to be a coder or programmer. So do you need to be a skilled graphic artist to make these visualizations? No, because the tools we use make visualizations for you. But graphic skills can be enormously valuable to data journalism projects, as can the skills of a programmer. And what we should remember about data journalism is that it can be a collaborative venture, and no journalist should feel left out, whatever their skill set. You might find yourself doing data journalism as part of a team where there are some people in that team who are graphic artists and coders, but also others who specialize in writing, photography, and filmmaking. You won't learn everything about the subject in this masterclass, not by any means, but what you hopefully will get out of it is a good grounding in doing data journalism.